And it's that time again. You've uh, come back into the Rowdy Studio with us, Buzz Cutler, Bass Masters, to talk a little NASCAR race and, yes. and talk Marcus Ambrose. For the first time in his career, he has laid down three top tens yeah. in a row. Your 2012 NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. Uh, I'm not thinking that's probably going to happen. Oh, come on. I think Casey anybody, Kane. Anybody just, can predict it after look, it occurs. I guess this is our token non-chase driver video. got to do one a week. Okay, but look at, look at Casey Kane. Third straight top five for Casey Kane. I know we discussed him extensively last week, so we don't need to get into it. Third straight top ten for Mark Zambrose. But the thing you got to like from Ambrose's perspective is that the Fords of Richard Petty Motorsports performed and have performed at least for the last couple of weeks up to par or very close to their brethren at Roush Fenway Racing. Yeah, it's three top tens in a row for the Stanley Dwalt team and Todd Power caught a great race. You know, we had some troubles in the pits, but we were able to rebound a little bit and uh, just a strong night for us. It's a satellite relationship. You look at A.J. Allmendinger. He had a great run. At Charlotte, he was very solid, at least in qualifying and practice. And he was at good Dover. at Dover, where you would expect him right? to be good. Exactly. So I think that's what's very encouraging. If you look big picture, if you look at 2012 for Ambrose and perhaps AJ as well. And AJ was in the mix for a while to get into the chase this year. So if you're looking forward for those guys, you say to yourself, the closer we get to the performance of Roush Fenway, that means the better relationship we have as far as getting information, data, equipment out of our satellite team there or the team that for whom we are the satellite, then I think you're very encouraged that maybe these guys have the talent to, to make some noise. I'm not saying Look, championship, but I'm saying in the mix for the chase. We often talk about who the next driver is to break through, who's going to be the next driver to win their first oval race. And I think we always talk about A.J. Allmendinger, and we always talk about Marcus Ambrose when we have that conversation. They're teammates. I think the key for Richard Petty Motorsports right now is resources, right? Yep. Um, Best Buy for the second year in a row is kind of holding off on re-signing with A.J. Allmendinger. They, they haven't said they won't, but they haven't said they would. Same right. scenario he was in last year. Now, um, the, the relationship with Stanley and DeWald and Bostich, that seems pretty good with Marcus Ambrose. Yep. But do they have the resources? Has Andrew Merstein brought in the resources to help that team get to the next level? I hope so. Well, three top tens in a row for Marcus says they're on the right track. So... You know, maybe that's the kind of thing, too, that will help you. I mean, A.J. Allmendinger finished top 10 also at Charlotte. That will help you bring Best Buy back. You get a little taste of success, and you want a little more. So I think it's a good night, a good end to the season for these guys. We'll see what happens at the next two tracks. Yeah, because the key is is to keep building on this momentum. And, and this is a team that we have seen show glimmers of hope right. and then just sort of fall back to their old ways. So I mean, I think the consistency is always going to be the hard. That's what sort of separates the men from the boys in the Cup Series is consistency, being able to do it every week. And I don't know that we've seen enough. Like Casey Kane, you know, he's going to Hendricks, so he'll have the equipment, and he's proving what he can do too. Is he so. a man or a boy? Oh, he's a man. He's a man boy. He's a man child. He's a man child, and he's dreamy. Well, I don't know about that. All right, for Buzz Cutler, I'm Bass Masters. We'll see you next time from right here in the Rowdy Studios. You like how I took the ending from you? You knew he was good just because you didn't want to admit that you thought Casey Kane was dreamy. I said he was cute last week. What more do you want from me? Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.